Hi everybody, this is Tanya Pizzolatto of Shimmering Tarot. Welcome to my channel. We have a pick a card reading for you today. And we do this all the time. It's where you pick a, a pile and that's your reading. And these are general readings meant for many people. They're not uh, personal readings. So take what resonates and leave the rest. There'll be quite a bit in each, uh, you know, in the pile you pick that resonates with you. And there'll be some stuff in there that has nothing to do with you because that's meant for somebody else. So, but it should in generally resonate with you. Feel like, yes, this, this is talking to me. So, you have a few ways to choose your pile to help you choose. You can pick by the deck. You can pick by the stone, you can meditate, you can pause the video and then meditate and then come back to whichever one's just called to you. Or you can even, you know, you can uh, write down in the comment section and ask me to pick the pile. I've had people do that and it seems just to work. So, whichever way you like, go for it. And I will put in the bottom where uh where you can get the decks because a lot of times people ask that so today it is how do they feel about you so it's you know your person how do they really feel about you in their heart you know and since this is Samhain and Halloween uh All Hallows Eve we have Halloween themed dark decks we even have them in oracle cards, too, that we're going to be using. So spooky season, the dark romance. Maybe this one, too. The Legends of All Hallows' Eve. So we've got a lot to, you know, make this festive reading, you know? Just write a... Just perfect for the season. And we got lots of skulls and pumpkins. And of course, rosebuds. They are great for psychic energy and for love, promoting love, lust, all that great chemicals in, that come with love, you know? They make you feel so elevated and just warm inside, happy, you know? Even chocolate does that for you. So. We have pile one here for you, which is the Trick or Treat Tarot. And we have on top of it a uh, Labradorite. See that beautiful Labrador essence, the, the blue that flashes in there? My countertop does that too. Then we have the Tarot of the Haunted Mansion with Specular Hematite. I just love the stone. This is a natural stone. This is how it comes. Just full of glitter. Check that out. And then we have the uh, Halloween Tarot and uh, Black Tourmaline. I get a good in there good for you to see tourmaline always has these striations in it it's not a smooth stone you can get you know there are some pieces that are pretty smooth but they they made up of lots of fibers they're like this you know string not strings um straight up and down like that you know Great for protection. So, t uh, take your time. Pick one. You can pause the video right here, and then we'll we'll each between each reading we will use the bell to clear the energy and to call in your spirit guides to help pick the cards that come out while I'm shuffling. So, 
uh, pause it. In just a moment, I'm going to pull these decks, these other two decks all the way so we can get started with the readings. Okay. So let's ring the bell, clear the energy, and call on your spirit guides. So here is the Trick or Treat Halloween deck. So what do your spirit guides want you to know? about how your person feels about you. King of Pentacles. I love this wolf. He reminds me of the cartoons, you know, with the eyes bugging out and making his wolf call. But here he's, he's lusting not over a woman or a man, but a pentacle, which is, you know, possessions, money, um, f your physical health, tangible things. And this is also, a king does not mean it has to be a male. It could be feminine energy, or well, a masculine energy in a woman's body, or an androgynous body, whatever the situation is. It's just the king means masculine energy. It also means mature energy. Unlike the page, which is a youthful energy. And knight's a little bit uh, more mature than the page, but less than a king or a queen. Same thing for a queen. Queen does not mean female. It means feminine, nurturing energy. Also of a mature age. So let's take a look. So we know we're starting out with some masculine energy that's very mature. Temperance. Temperance is um, Sagittarius zodiac sign. So we have this very stable, masculine, mature energy that is in your relationship, whether it's you or your person. And they're very balanced. Not only are they stable in who they are, but they're incredibly balanced and have this um, ability to be very moderate, you know, not, you know, all or nothing type person. Which is like the greatest thing you could ever ask for. High Priestess. Very intuitive too. I love that. Very in touch with their intuition. Their secret knowledge. They just, you know, can look within. And they know things, you know. And I'm sure this is something you've come to rely on having in your life. to help balance you out. Have someone so uh, dependable. And whether you're together or not together at this moment, this person has always been there and very caring. Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles, this is... um. An energy that's that does need time to be alone. Okay, they they enjoy their hobbies, you know, which we all do. If you really look at it, we all need a little time to enjoy our hobbies. Yes, we love our people that we're in relationships with, and we want to be with them. But we do need time to ourselves to think, to read, to just do like. I don't fly drones. My husband likes to fly drones. So he goes and does that. My dogs think he's the devil when he does that. The sound just drives them crazy. 
<laughs> it's very funny to me. But this is, you know, a person, they're saying, hey, I, I need my space. I need time to do things I love to do that you could care less about. Knight of Cups. So here we're getting a solid answer that your person is thinking of you and they want to be with you or if you are together, they've got some kind of love offering to offer to you. Let's focus this down just a little bit so we can get this in good. You know, they want to profess their love to you. They want to move the relationship to the next level. They want to read you their corny poetry they've written. It could be beautiful poetry. Whatever it is, this is a very, this person thinks a lot of you. And even if you're apart, they still hold you deeply in their heart. Just like when you were together, they are still the st very stable, mature person that you were with. They are still that, who still needs their time alone. And that takes nothing away from you. Maybe you thought that while you, you know, when it would happen, when they would want to go off and do their hobby, but that takes nothing from you. Hey, my husband could care less about tarot. Well, that's not true. Yesterday he did use me to fi uh, figure out what was wrong with his computer. What the, uh, these little chips. So he labeled them one, two, three, four. And then I picked four cards and that's how I picked it, what was wrong and it worked it actually worked oh the devil so sometimes in this relationship here your person would feel out of their element because you'd want so much of them you know, you, you wouldn't give them, you didn't want them spending this time without you, that they would get out of alignment with themselves. So this is something that really bothered them or does really bother them. Whether you're together or not together, this is a thing that really bothers them. They need their time, their, their quiet time to decompress, to be in their own head to enjoy things that they really love that you don't, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, we get out of sync with ourselves, you know? Even like taking a bubble bath. If your person doesn't want to take that with you, but you love them, you you should take those that time to have that. Because it is a very nurturing, healing thing to do these things that we love. Your person still truly loves you, still thinks of you as the love of their life. Their heart feels good when they think about you, okay? This is also the, they're just wanting to tell you how much they love you. They feel like you are their twin flame or their soulmate. Even if you're not together, sometimes we have to separate and mature and grow before we can come back together instead of dragging each other down and making each other dysfunctional and toxic. So if you are not with this person in pile number one, it's all about you taking some time to mature, to get in touch with yourself, to heal. I mean, you're, you're going to mature at your rate, but you know, be able to let your person have their time alone and you to enjoy that time too, doing what you love. This is not them trying to take something away from you. You know, for a lot of people, they I think they tend to feel like, oh, they, they don't love me. They don't want to be with me every single second. They love you. They do want to be with you, but we need time. To not be with the one we love. 
to just do things we love, you know? Some men love sports and some women hate it or vice versa. So you, it's not a moment you want to be together. Whatever it is, our building model trains. Everybody has these hobbies. My husband's an engineer, so his hobbies are computers. He loves working on computers, even if he's not doing his engineering work, which is on computers. Ace of Pentacles. And your person is still feeling deeply connected to you. And even when they think of you now, even with these insecurities that have gone on, they feel still very stable and loving when they think about you. And when they're around you, when you guys are having your time together, that you want to be doing, being together instead of doing your hobbies. And they do feel, they feel very connected to you. This person in pile number one feels truly psych, psychically connected to you. And you do too if you would just pay attention, you know. Instead of getting nervous when they're going off to do something that you don't want to be a part of anyways, you know. Doing hobbies does not mean that your person is going off to cheat. As I know a lot of people do think that, but it's not. If you're in a good, healthy relationship... You shouldn't even feel that way. And if you didn't feel that way, look, these are your feelings, okay? They're valid. They're, they come from some place. But it could very possibly come from seeing your parents' relationship or past relationships you've had that you have brought into this relationship. They really don't belong here because this person you're with is dependable. They are stable. They are healthy. They are mature and loving and knowledgeable. And, and very willing to tell you how much they love you. They love to tell you that, you know, and show you. So whatever your, your issues are with pile number one, look, in, look inwards if you're having, you're feeling insecurity and deal with it, whether it's seeing a professional Ace of Wands. Okay, and we also have incredible chemistry here. So, you know, your person goes off and does their, their hobbies, flies their drone or whatever. They come back. You guys have some great sex. Or later that evening, however you guys do it. Or in the morning. The chemistry is strong. And if you're separated, they want to be with you, okay? This is a person who loves you very much. That is truly how they feel. They love you. They want to be with you. They love how they feel and how they feel connected to you. And please don't try to take them away from things they love to do that you could care less about. Because that will really knock them out of balance. And this is a very truly centered, balanced human being, which we all strive for. And patient. They are very patient with you, too. Queen of Pentacles. She looks like she's made uh, this pentacle, which is like a cookie or something. So, and they love to nurture you. This card is talking about, you know, even after a, a big day of work, you both had a big day at work, they want to come home and they want to do something nice with you, you know, like make a nice meal for you guys to share. They love to nurture you themselves, the relationship. This is, a, this is a queen. So this is a mature energy. Also, and very feminine with the wanting to nurture. So, 
So they want to nurture you. They want to nurture this relationship. This is just so much incredible, beautiful energy here. I want to take a look at the devil energy. What does your spirit guides want us to know about that? Page of Cups. So, you know, when they're get if they're not spending their time, you know, doing getting their time to spend alone or do their hobbies, they get very uh, restless and immature, you know. They just to start to feel not like themselves. This that it is important to have this these times to ourselves to heal, to meditate, do yoga, to Whatever it is that is your thing that you need to do, it needs to be done. So stop trying to think that this is, they're trying to take something away from you. This is not trying to get away from you. This is trying to be healthy on a daily level, healthy, stable, mature, in touch with themselves, in touch with their intuition, and in intuitively connected with you. Spending their time you know, their their private time doing something that they love that has nothing to do with another human being. It's not taking away from you. It's just something they enjoy. And they always come back to tell you how much they love you and that they really enjoyed this time doing their thing. And if you, like, complain about them doing it, then this is where the problem comes where they get all of whack, out of whack because they don't want to make you feel bad when they should be telling you, this is something that's important to me. Look, this, this person, you need to give this time. This person is so give and take with you. You know, even if you, they try to even give you more of themselves because they, they feel this insecurity in you. This person truly loves you, okay? The bottom line, they love you. They're stable. They want to be with you. You guys have great chemistry. They want to nurture you. They do nurture you. They nurture themselves. And they are truly all about give and take in to each other with you. So, you know, in a healthy relationship, it is not transactional. It is, you know... Whoever is healthiest and strongest in this one area, you give 90% and the other person gives 10%. This is an example. And then it will something else will come along and you will be stronger in something and give 90% and they'll give 10%. It's just back and forth, you know, however it works. You both give what you have to give. And it it is balanced. It is beautiful. It's loving and nurturing. It's not like, okay, we pay half of this exactly. It's, that's not a relationship. That's transactional. I gave in this time. There's no tally sheet here. This is love. And we're dealing with human beings. And sometimes you, you're with someone who doesn't have that much to give or doesn't make as much as you. They can't be paying half. They don't have it. And you're married. It's just how it works in life. Everybody gives what you got to give. So let's see what's at the bottom. The Wheel of Fortune. So there is some good karma for you guys. So if you are split from your person, there is no reason why you guys can't get back together. Even... For, just from reading this, I, no, I see that if you're apart, you should be back together. They want to be with you. I'm sure you want to be with them. And just, you know, mature up and say, I'm sorry I tried to keep all of your attention all to myself instead of letting you have your time to do your hobbies. I mean, when I say attention, I didn't mean like it's okay to give your attention to another person Romantically, that is never okay. Okay, I'm talking about doing things they love, 
build model trains, build whatever it is, paint. So, and this is also talking about, you know, not just good karma, but the ups and downs of life. This is how life works. And it's going to be this way forever. Always up and down. That's the cycle of life. Give and take. So, let's take a look at some Halloween themed oracles. And what they want to point out. Well, that's way too much. Get these back here. And you really, in pile number one, you guys have this um, great chemistry, great love, stability, emotions. There's not a lot of thought process going along here. I don't see any swords. But the feelings, the chemistry, the stability, the taking care of your health and each other, and the relationship is really beautiful here. So we have the mysterious, the mysterious, your person sometimes feels you are very mysterious, but very beautiful. They, they look at you like this black hat, just beautiful with those glowing eyes and mysterious eyes that look always kind of mysterious that makes them chuckle. Endings. So what is under endings? Temperance. So sometimes, you know, the balance gets out of their, their balance and patience gets out of whack. But it comes back, okay? It doesn't mean it's ending forever. Even if you're apart, doesn't even mean you're apart forever. Evolving. This is what we want to see, you know, especially with this temperance, and not temperance, the high priestess. That you are always evolving to your higher self, you know. Your soul is always evolving and growing and feeling better and able to give more to this relationship. So if you are separated from pile number one, this is will be helping you to get back to with pile number one. Because pile one, number one has only wonderful feelings about you. Web of lies. Now, I do not feel that... Uh, oh, that going this... This is where you've always gotten in trouble. When you think they're going off to do their hobby, your mind automatically goes off to they're doing something they shouldn't be doing. That they're lying to you. That is not the truth. I'm sure your person is very clear and transparent with you. Would let you, you know, if you have these insecurities, talk to them, okay, about these insecurities. Tell them where they come from. I have no idea what my dog, she's outside barking is something. But they need you to talk to them, not accuse them of things, okay? Tell them where these insecurities are coming from. Th that will help them to be more understanding instead of feeling, why does my person not trust me? I am always completely faithful. So talk to them. Tell them your, your fears and insecurities. I know my husband is very transparent with me because my father was a huge cheat. 
And I thought I would grow up to be a huge cheat. I've never cheated on my husband. And it's been 22 years we've been married. But, you know, I just thought, you know, because everybody says I'm a lot like my father. That is not something I wanted to be like, you know. You know, especially these bad habit things. These bad characteristics. But my husband has made it always um, his everything for me, very transparent. If I wanted to check up on him, I could check on his phone to see where he is. I can call if, you know, if he's busy and I'm going nuts, I can call a second time and then he will answer because he knows that I'm losing it. But, you know, or that it's an emergency. But I have never lost it emotionally because my husband has always made it very clear that he is completely open with me. So these are things you need to talk about with your person so they can understand where you're coming from. Yes, with this is perfect with the um, the Knight of Cups. It's a masculine uh, uh, energy that's uh, like about middle age, wanting with you know all this energy. Not middle age. Middle age is older, but wanting to profess to you how much they love you, bring you messages of love. Of commitment. They want to move forward with you into life. Okay? Oh, this is the one. <laughs> Energy vampire. So, you really need to not be an energy vampire. This is this is something I keep getting in this me in this reading, is that you need to give your person their time to do their 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 meditation, their praying, going. You know, if you don't believe and they do believe, to go to church or go to their co um, covenant meeting. Con no, that's a that's a Catholic thing. You know. I can't think of the word. Or to their high priestess, their shaman, whatever the situation is, they need they need to get you know, get their their spiritual needs met too. You know, and however they practice that, they need that time to do that, which can also be connected with their hobbies, whatever. There's just all these things we have to do to be healthy people. And we need to make sure we do them. Energy clearing. Yes, they love you. But they also, you know, part of their, you know, daily meditation is to clearing their energy, you know. Because sometimes we wake up in a grumpy mood. Or we've dealt with grumpy people all day at work. We want to come home and be with the person we love. So we got to clear our energy. Take some time to meditate. So we don't take it out on each other in our relationships. Unforeseen. The Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, there could be things that, that go on to make things feel unstable, like insecurities, um, loss of jobs. Whatever the situation is, there, there are things that will come in life, throughout your lives together, that will be unforeseen, you know? So we do things like build up savings to, you know, help us in our daily, everyday lives feel secure. That we can take care of, you know, God forbid, like another pandemic come, so we can make it through just fine, you know? It is very important to always save. You got to save for your retirement and you got to save for unforeseen things like losses of jobs because sometimes you lose a job and it's hard to get another job for a year or two. So you have to have a couple of years of savings. They never tell you that, but you really should. And you need to have money to buy a car. You, if When you're really mature, you save for these things before you buy. You don't get a loan. 
And then you need to, be, you know, be able to fix your house. You have to have savings for that. So these are part of all your couple years savings that you got to have too. So that, you know, your relationship just goes smoothly. These are the ways to have love go smoothly through, you know. It really helps. And to deal with our shadow work. Deal with our issues. This is telling you. Deal with your issues. So that your person can be free to do the things they need to do. Enjoy their hobbies. Heck, they could be, you know, into biology and want to dissect frogs. You know, into medical stuff. I, it's not something I want to even think about. Whatever their thing is. And I'm sure you can understand that you don't want to be part of that. Gossip. Never gossip about your person, okay? If you have a problem with your person, okay? A lot of people like to talk about their problems with other people than with the person you're involved with. This is something you should be talking with your person about. Because your friends, whoever, cannot help you heal any issue you have with your person. You need to know how to talk, you know, with great communication skills, with interpersonal communication skills, with not blaming, just saying, this is how I feel. When something is said, what did you mean when you said this? This is how I heard it. You know, it's just being honest, but not saying, you made me feel. That is like a huge back away phrase. I didn't make you feel anything. Your, your feelings are your feelings. Nobody's responsible for them. Feel them. Deal with them. But don't blame them on somebody. Merciless, destructive, ruthless. See, this is the horrible thing about insecurities. They can be destructive and ruthless and merciless. And this pile one is very, this person is very stable and has such great regard for you. Deep feelings of love, of stability. Wanting to offer you everything, you know, and passion for you and in intuitive to your needs. Even though you're intuitive to your needs, you need to be intuitive to theirs too. Protection from malice and harm. This, this, your person wants to protect you from things that are destructive, you know, they need you to be honest with yourself. You know, they can be as honest as they want, but unless you're being honest with yourself and opening your ears and listening and listening, you're not going to hear. Withdrawn, solitude, seclusion. This is what I, I feel you feel a lot of the times when your person wants to go off. You know, so the night before the, they're going to go do their thing, you become withdrawn. This is time you should be together. They're happy to be th there with you. Instead, you start giving them cold shoulder. Don't do that. This is, that's not healthy. That's not nice. It's very immature. And healthy relationships should not be doing that. You want a healthy relationship, a stable one, one for life with your twin flame, your soulmate. Don't do this to them. Don't do that to yourself. Don't let anyone do that to you. Patience, waiting, delay. So your person is very patient with you, you know. Sometimes they delay going off to do their, you know, thing. You know, golfing. Whatever it is. I'm just throwing out examples, what it might be. 
Now, there are people like Raymond who, you know, that TV show, Everybody Loves Raymond, who didn't want to be around his family. He loved them, but from afar. Be there, but he didn't want to be with them. He's always wanted to go golfing, go basketball, go do everything. Eat his mommy's food, not his wife's food. That, to me, is cheating. You're married to this person, and they want to do the cooking? You eat it. You don't go to your mommy to cook you food. You don't go over there every day. Because you're not married to your mommy. Okay? That was very bad of Raymond. And not sticking up for her. Okay. Off the, off the reading. Nostalgia. Reminiscing. Memories. <laughs> Just makes me think of that even more. But. Think. Your person is thinking about you. And all the wonderful th times you guys have together. And all the wonderful feelings they have for you. This pile number one. This person. Your person loves you. They desire you. They want you. They want to build a stable life with you. Healthy life. Full of everything beautiful and wonderful. And build lots of beautiful memories with you. And they have patience for with you. You know. Do have patience with yourself and and deal with your own issues. You know, even your person, I'm sure it would be there to listen to you deal with your issues too. Because this is a person who is there for you. And there is, there is always going to be, I feel this, Growth, always your relationship growing, healthy, you know, evolving, getting healthier. There is no permanent endings for pile number one, you know. It just feels such a cohesive unit, you two, together. With a lot of maturity, a lot of love. A lot of stability, chemistry, beautiful, loving feelings. You have you have your person's whole heart, okay? Your person in pile number one has given you the whole pie that is their heart. They don't give you crumbs. And when they tell you that they, they love you, that they want to be with you, they mean it. This is honest. And don't try to keep them from the things they enjoy doing. Otherwise, you're going to throw them out of their stability into, you know, unhealthiness. They cannot live just being about you. They have to have things that they enjoy. We're humans. That's the way we work. Okay, so let's go to pile number two. Ring the bell. And we have the spirit guides come in. Help us pick the cards. This is our specular hematite. And this is the tarot of the haunted house. So let's see. There it is. We have the seven of wands. That's coming out. So there's a, a very much an asserting of boundaries. Pushing, you know, saying, hey, this is my boundaries. I will defend these. I, they're important to me. So the, we have the hermit here. This is a person who's very intelligent. Not only they're very traditional of whatever their traditions are, you know, it doesn't have to be Christian, um, Judaism, Muslim. It doesn't have to be those. It could be whatever. It could be Wiccan. It could be uh, 
whatever there is. I'm just, my mind's going blank here about religions. But it's what's important to this person. And they're, what I'm getting is that they're saying, I, it's important for me to have my boundaries even though we're in a relationship. It's not okay to be treated badly. Or to be dominated. Your person has a free will, wants to speak. Here we have tower. And that they fear change, you know. They fear telling you these things because they're afraid it's going to change how you feel about them. So here we got the four of pentacles in reverse. That's a great card to have in reverse. So they are loosening up their grip on things, okay? Where they tried to hold on to you so tightly that you couldn't breathe. They are loosening up because they realize they have these fears, you know? And they're, they're dealing with, hey, here's my boundaries. And starting to tell you the, these things little by little, you know? They're getting healthier in pile number two. And they're telling you, this is how I feel. This is what's going on with me. Three of cups we got. This is talking about, it's time to celebrate each other, to have fun. Don't look at things from the shadow side like you're drowning. Look at, you know, celebrating with each other, with your friends, your family. This is a very caring person. You know, they want to be healthy. They want to do, you know, have their boundaries. Respect their culture and traditions and their, their brain. They're very intelligent and they like to learn. They need to learn. And it is scary for them changes. They tell you, this is, this frightens me. Ah, the high priestess here. So they are very intuitive. Your person is very intuitive. And they do feel, they want to be intuitively linked with you and feel that they... There is a great possibility for this, for you two to just be intuitive with each other, you know, Re respect each other's boundaries. Once you can get there, then this just knowing and, and feelings and emotions and understanding can happen easily for you guys. Respecting each other as human beings is very important in pile number two. Seven of Pentacles. So this this person, this person is willing to put the work in to make this relationship work with you. Whether you're together or not, they want to be with you, okay? They they want to deal with their issues. They want to have the security of, you know, these are my boundaries. They're respected. It, that this is my tradition, my culture. These, these need to be respected. Yes, I do fear change. That they want to know that you're okay with them fearing that, that. And you can be there and hold their hand through change and listen to their fears. It is important when you love someone to listen to their fears. And you do that for them too. That is part of a real relationship. And not only be in touch with your own intuition and your cycles, but your, your secret knowledge. But this, this is a person who's willing to put the work in. Relationships take work, like listening to each other. You know, being thoughtful of this person. This is a person who is willing to do that. That is a, a relationship that is uh, able to succeed when you have people who are willing to do these things. 
Four of Swords. So this is also saying your person does need time to rest and meditate, you know, so they can be their healthiest with you. And not feel like the world is always just grabbing and trying to drag them back down. You know, sometimes maybe they need more rest than you. Whatever the situation is, they need this. This is a need. And they, they indulge in this because they know this is a need. And this in person, really, they, they love you and they want to enjoy life with you. And they're not trying to suffocate you at all anymore. Ah, we have intense passion. So the chemistry between you two is great. It's just electric. It, you know, that your person smells good to you. Their touch feels incredible to you, you know? You get near them, you want to touch them, you want to go to bed with them. This is how your person feels about you. They want a truly healthy life where they're constantly growing with you, like this lightning that you see striking this tower. They're, this is the, them learning, getting enlightened. Oh, we have the Queen of Swords. So your person also is incredibly intelligent and mature, okay? Intelligence has come out twice in this reading with the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords. This, um, your person is like, they don't like it when you try to lie to them and feed them bullshit and tell them that something is a piece of fruit when it's dog poop don't lie don't try to you know and expect them to smile about that they don't find this amusing your person appreciates honesty they are a great friend to you not just a lover but a great friend they will be there for you through thick and thin I'm just looking what needs uh, clearing up. I'm going to start with the uh, Seven of Wands. So we have the star here. So, you know, they feel like they need to defend their boundaries because sometimes things have not felt always peaceful and serene. They want you to respect your boundaries so they don't have to worry about that. And then you guys can become even more close where this is a spiritual union. You know, not just one of love and lust and desire and want, but you spiritually are connected. This is spiritual love too, you know. They want serenity, hope in this uh, union with you. So we got 21. This is the world. So you respect the person's boundaries. You're... Respect your person's boundaries. This gives you a spiritual connection now. And now you guys have the whole world at your disposal. Your relationship is just so beautiful, so full. It is the world to you guys. It is wonderful. Once you've dealt with these, this situation of the boundaries, your, your relationship just evolves so beautifully. I want to take a look at the tower to the magician. So 
in in this tower a lot of times we want to hold on and make things stay the same and we we stress out our bodies by trying to hold on so much white knuckling everything being so stressed so here it is the, this um the magician is telling us make things happen that you can accept the things you can't make happen okay there are things that are out of our control you have need to accept that and this will give you great peace this is part of the enlightenment you know that there will always be change in life So here we got the King of Swords. This will give you great maturity. You know, the, this gives the relationship great maturity. And now we have the Queen and the King of Swords here in this reading. Face forward. You guys are present. This is the, what this relationship needs to be face forward, to, pres to be present with each other, okay? This got, makes you the perfect couple here in the present with each other. And you're both very intelligent. You know, this is energy of Libras, Geminis, Aquarius. also brings the hangman getting a new, this also includes getting new perspective on things which you can do when you're mature you can get a different perspective and see things from different point of views not just yours but from your persons and then from you Eight of Cups. So there was there was this parting of ways in this uh, pile number two. It feels like there has been a parting of ways. But it doesn't have to stay that way. There was this needing of things to change, like the maturing, you know, with the star getting hope. And you're having your first, having your boundaries met and respected. That brought a spiritual union between you and your person. And makes the relationship become complete. So that can help heal this, you know, whatever, why either one of you walked away. That you can get back together. That there, there, were, there were things that needed healing. And there has been a lot of healing and maturing. That now you both are at this mature state together now four of wands oh this is beautiful so there was a time where you had to uh split up so things could change you could work on yourselves but now you can get back together and see you guys moving forward in this relationship truly celebrating not feeling like this image here underneath where she's feeling drowning in her emotions. But up here, celebrating with your family, your friends, with your your person. The sun. The sun will come out and that you will get... So there is this Huge for a lot of you getting back together with your partner, okay? And growing and respecting each other's boundaries and then having this relationship become very spiritual, very connected, where it means the world to you. And being able to, you know, deal with the changes of life that happen and knowing what you can deal with, what you can change and what you can't and accepting that. And looking at things from each other's point of view. And after the split up, getting back together. And seeing your romance bloom. 
you know, and progress to the next level and celebrating it. And the sun comes out and it feels great. It feels blissful. It's happiness, success for this uh, relationship in pile number two. Every relationship has the dark and the light, you know. Seven of Swords. So do not be duplicitous with their person. Don't say one thing, but do another. Be thoughtful. You know, avoid, you know, telling what you think are white lies or omissioning, omissions where you don't tell anything at all. Be honest with your person. This will keep the relationship being beautiful, healthy, happy, stable. And here we have 13. So this is a death of something, you know, the death of the ways, the old ways things were in your relationship. Where your uh, boundaries weren't being met. Now they're being met and now it's, it's become a spiritual union too. And there's hope and inspiration in this relationship and the world the relationships come to mean the world to you or will become to mean the world to you because this walking away has brought you back together once you've had this time to yourselves to learn to deal with these situations so We're going to look at some oracles. Let's see what they got to say. Do not gossip about your person. You have issues with your person. Talk to your person. You know, and maybe while you're, when you guys are separated, you go see a therapist or your minister or just imam or um, your shaman, your high priestess. Talk to them to help them see what was going on in your relationship so you can talk to them. Offer. Yes. It just feels like there's so much hope for this relationship, pile number two. That there is offers of love, offers, yes, I want to be with you. And there was some toxicity, but there has been the maturing and the learning to look at things from each other's point of view, respecting the boundaries. Growing in friendship. So you can grow in love. Because it is important to be a friend to the person you love. Clouded. Sometimes things seem clouded. You don't see clearly. That is time not to deal with certain things. Don't rush in and go, I got to clear the air. I got to do something. You could be making things worse. This is time to take some medita meditation. You know, calm your heartbeat. Calm yourself. So you can see clearly and know what to do. Visitor. So here's your person coming to visit you after the split so you guys can get back together. Telling you with this, you know, offer of love how much I love you. How much I respect you and I want us to be together and grow together. Manifestation. Yes, we have. I believe we had the uh, magician here also. I want to make things happen. 
that I can, you know, I want to manifest this being together again. Here it is. Soulmate. Okay. Very clear answer. You are this person's soulmate. They're your soulmate. Yes, we have, we know there was the separation. But in the separation, you don't have to stay apart. You just needed some contemplation to deal with your issues. Know what to, how to mature. Now let's look at this beautiful Halloween spooky season oracle. But, you know... Part of the light is looking in the dark thing, the dark side, where and what we can heal. Naivete, inexperienced, immature. So we all have some of this. And that is a good thing. It's good to not be completely jaded. Incoming action and momentum. Your person bringing messages of love and how much they miss you and treasure you and they love that your naivete they love that about you you know that you're not jaded merciless is you know, they thought for a while that this was a very toxic relationship. Then they realized, no, this is really my soulmate. We, there is so much hope for us. So much we can do. So much growing we can do. And maturing. And learning to respect each other's boundaries. Return. Unresolved second chance. Well, don't let this be, this is, a, you know, they're warning you, don't let this be unresolved. Deal with it. This, there is so much hope for this pile, number two. If you put in the work, you will have the success. Juggling, balancing act, inconsistency. You want to learn to balance things consistently. Being very stable. You need that in a relationship. Everybody needs that, you know. Need to know things are going to be stable, taken care of. That you're not going to flake. So, a lot of hope here. If you're willing to put in the work, and the, there was the Seven of Pentacles, which says you are willing to put the work in. They're willing to put the work in. The separation is not one that has to be permanent. This is a true soulmate. So you should be with them. Contemplate what you need to look it at. Get back with your person. Make things manifest. Happen the way you want to. Do the things you can do. And when they come to the door, let them in. Don't gossip about them. And enjoy the offers of love. The toxicity doesn't always have to be there. The friendship does. And there will always be moments things seem clouded. That can be, that will clear up. So this here was the seven of pentacles. Your person is a person willing to put the work in to make this relationship work. There are so many, so many wonderful things. They see you as this incredibly beautiful, intelligent person. That they want to be with. The chemistry is great. They give you the space you need. To rest. Recuperate. And they're very intuitive. And they want to celebrate with you. Your relationship. And, and feel the bliss of the love. And not have any more duplicitous actions between you two see your relationship grow and re uh, releasing the hoarding of the emotions and stuff you know being open 
with your person and getting things from a new perspective all this maturity that's come in learning to deal with life is always changing and here was the two of uh wands making things happen and the hierophant the world the spiritual serenity of this relationship that will be coming so a lot of beautiful things happening for pile two as long as you're willing to work on them and do do the work with your person relationships is not a one person work it's both so let's clear the energy and call in your spirit guides Black tourmaline. <laughs> so we got the Knight of Swords out. So your person has got this all this energy. Always wanting to come rush in. Let's see else, what else is coming. <laughs> what do your spirit guides want us to know? Way too many. I'll choose this one that didn't come out. Five of Ghost. So your person is always very fast in his approach of do, dealing with things. When sometimes they maybe need to slow down. And they're very afraid of being left alone. Isolated. Uh, star, but they have hope for you too. Okay, we have they they view you as very being a very beautiful spiritual being, and they have hope that this relationship will be beautiful and spiritual in the, its union. Page of imps. So this is a very mature, immature energy here. It's a very passionate, immature energy. Just wanting to come at you, you know. A lot of wanting to just get in bed with you. So there's just this chemistry that, you know. It's a strong chemistry, you know. Of being young and just wanting your person so much. Let's see what else is coming. Six of pumpkins, okay, this is a great energy here. You know, even though there's this very immature energy that's all about the physicality, but there's also this spiritual union here and this wanting to be um, reciprocal in energy and in love of give and take, you know. They give what they, ha they have to give. And you give what you have to give. And this ends up making the relationship work. So respect this. This is a great energy. This person will give everything they have to make this work. You know, because each of you will be stronger in some areas and weaker in others. So where you're strong in, you give a lot more. And they're weaker they give less than that. Then it will change and they'll be stronger in some area and you'll be weaker. So they'll give more and then you will give less. This is reciprocal, being balanced. The Emperor, this is an Aries energy. So your person is very, you know, very, feels like very in charge, you know. But at times they can be very immature. At time, we get this very mature energy, very great in their leadership abilities, handling things. But at times, sexually, they can be very immature, just wanting to rush into bed. Not think about the other things, you know, not when deal with the other things. Let's just do this part. 
and they do have fears. Eight of bats. So sometimes, you know, right, right under their fear of fear of isolation, we get this eight of bats. They fear being trapped, and this is a stressful thing, and it's something that happens in their mind. They don't literally get trapped and wrapped up in these mummy bandages. They're loose. You can unwind yourself. You can walk right out. You are not stuck. Where the trap really happens is in your mind. So you need to breathe in and breathe out slowly. So you can uh, see. See things clearly. What you can do. What, what is needed. So we have the Wheel of for Fortune. The ups and downs of life. The karma, you know, when you're at top, the karma is great. So it feels like there's a lot of hope, you know, because we're at that is upright. Oh, well, we got the lovers. So this person you chose to be in union with here in this relationship is someone that you feel is your twin flame or your soulmate. They are your choice. This, and you are theirs. And it's very much a romantic love. This also is the zodiac sign Gemini. Seven of bats. So here's this, you know, Wanting to uh, run away with your secrets or take something that doesn't belong to you. This du duplicitous action or not telling the uh, complete truth, you know, a lie by omission. Do not indulge in that behavior in this relationship. Because a lot of people take that as a serious lie. By not saying anything at all. Be truthful. Be honest. This is what's going on. So we know your person has, you know, a lot of energy. And tends to react to things fastly. So let's see what that needs to be done to help slow this down. We have the Queen of Imps. So the Queen of Wands. So... This is, you know, indulge in your feminine side, your feminine maturity, okay? In your warm energy of loving, of being around people. This will help you calm down and not just want to react to everything all the time. Two of ghosts, okay, more. More signs that you guys are twin flames, soulmates. The lovers, the two of cups. Now let's look at the five, a ghost. Eight of pumpkins. So keep plugging away at the relationship, you know. Keep working. Doing, this is a person that is very diligent. And they will start to realize that, yes, I keep putting in the effort. You keep putting the effort. This is a relationship where we won't end up without each other. We're meant to be together. I can see that now. Very diligent person. But they do tend to, you know, every once in a while, they're going to pull back and not look, not open their eyes. I can't, I can't look. So sometimes you will have to remind them. Choose the one that was not up. The hangman. So. Tell them just to look from a different perspective than their own. At, some, at the issues. So they can get a better idea and not be so scared to look. Just try something completely different. So 
So let's see why we got this immature energy here. Nine of pumpkins. So your person also needs to spend some time dealing in things that are important with them, not just this youthful energy. They need to, you know, indulge in their hobbies or their beliefs. But that it needs to be a regular thing where they have some time to themselves, where they do yoga or meditation, whatever it is that's very important to them, that they, they need this time. You know, it could be painting something. It's a very spiritual experience for them. Very healing, grounding. Seven of imps. This is something that they very much need to be protective of. This is something important to me, so I need the, to, to do this. Uh, this is my boundary here. I need this time alone. It, it's important for me to be healthy and not immature. We will look at this eight of bats. Why your person is feeling trapped. Feeling like things are not balanced in this world or they're not fair. Are they wanting to be married with you? So we got the page of bats. And they worry about getting bad news. So the for some of you, this could be your person wants to be, get married and they fear you saying no. They, they want to ask you and they fear this. We need to take a look at the seven of bats. Ace of pumpkins. So avoid the seven of bats energy of not wanting to tell all the truth of being duplicitous, of saying one thing and doing a totally different thing. Completely lying or taking something that doesn't belong to, to you. Be this beginning of the stability. This is the energy you need to focus on or your person needs to focus on. Is the stability that the, the world is here to help you succeed, actually. The universe is on your side to succeed. And whatever it is you're starting, whether it's this relationship, a health regime, the, the universe is here to help you make it happen. Ace of Imps. So that you have a great inspiration too. So not only is the universe wanting to help you, you're, you're very inspired. So your person is very inspired to make this relationship work, to give it all they've got. Let's see what they got, what got at the bottom. Ten of Cups. So this speaks. We got the two, the lovers, the two of cups. Now we've got the ten of Cups, which speaks of you and your person having a happy family together. A happy family. It does not have to be a man and a woman, two point something children, and a dog. It could be two people of the same sex. It could be one person. It could be. One person with no children or one person with lots of animals. It could be two people of same gender with human children or animals. No animals or children. It's whatever your idea of the happy family is, is your idea. And that that is in the cards for you guys. Be twin flames, soulmates. Have the happy family that you've always desired with each other. So pile three. This is a great energy we've got here. So let's get some oracle cards. I'm going to do this one. All Hallows Eve. Waiting for the right time. 
like to ask you to marry them. As being this emperor energy, they know it is poor to ask at the right time. The hunt, you know, they they pursue you. Even when you're together, they pursue you. So, like, you're still dating. Because it know, they know it is important to keep the romance alive in this relationship. These are just dark images for Halloween because it is that time of year. Revenge for wrongdoings. Do not focus on re revenge for wrongdoings. That can be take the rest of your energy for the rest of your life and drive you apart. And this is a twin flame. You do not want that to happen. Overwhelmed over racing thoughts. So here are some energies that could come in that you need to nip in the bud. You're, you're mature. You can deal with these things. Don't let your tendency to want to be immature and rush into doing things happen. Slow down. Look at things rational. Meditate. Spend time by yourself doing something you love so you're always clear. Puppet master. Under control. So this is a person who is under control of themselves. This will help them not to indulge in these couple negative feelings that can happen in life. Nostalgia. Reminiscing. Happy memories. You guys will create a lot of happy memories together. The yeah, pile number three, this was like such a happy. Th this is a person who truly cares about you, truly loves you, wants to be with you forever. Strategy, planning, opportunity, you know, to have a happy family, which this is all about, this pile number three. It is about strategy, planning, putting in the work, you know, planning for the future and for, you know, bad times, guidance and assistance, seeking guidance when you need help, talking to your person for guidance when you need their opinion. Sometimes there's times we need to go to an outsource, a side source like a therapist when, you know, maybe you're remembering issues from childhood and you need to deal with those. That is all right. Deal with them. That is the healthy thing to do. Patience. Waiting. So have patience. So you know when it is right to do the right, to deal with things, you know. Don't just rush in because we had the first thing was the Knight of Swords who just rushes in. Yes, they're very talented at what they do, but time there are times we need to have patience and look at things and analyze before we act. Clarity, revelations, realizations. That this pile number three, this is your person. This is happiness for you. You this person, this pile, this person loves you more than anything, more than anybody. They don't want anybody else. They want you. You are their twin flame, their soulmate, their happy family, their happy place, their safe place in this world. This is a spiritual union. So there is just so many beautiful energies here. Enjoy this. Have a great Halloween and happy Samhain. Happy All Hallows Eve. All Souls Day. Enjoy yourself. And enjoy, Pile 3, enjoy your loved ones. This person that you have a relationship with really loves you. That's truly how they feel. They, they are happy. 
being in a relationship with you. They believe you are their soulmate, their twin flame, their, their happy family, their safe place, their spiritual union where they have been meant, sent to earth to have their whole purpose of being here. So I hope you enjoyed this. Give this a thumbs up so the algorithms, it helps with the algorithms. And subscribe to my channel so YouTube will tell you when uh, I put out videos. And uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of your families, your loved ones. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. It's very important when you love someone to be good to them and to, to yourself. So you keep yourself healthy. And able to keep loving each other. Instead of letting yourselves get run down and weak. So take care of yourselves. I'm sending you guys all lots of love, kisses, and many blessings to all of you. So take care, everybody. Bye.